Hello guys, in this short video, I am going to show you how to perform short circuit on a definite passport system with a very simple script. To do that, go to the active study case and create a new DPL command. Click OK. And name the example and choose the general selection. In the external object, let us name one of our bus bars as bus underline bar. Then select the object. To access all the elements, click on the plus sign right next to the network data. Then click on the grid. As an example, let us select number 5 pass. Click OK. So in the script, we need to write a code to execute short circuit calculation as we did for the load flow calculation. But before that, we need to define a short circuit common in our example. So go back to our example and from the new object create a new DPL common. Then from the element choose short circuit calculation. Click OK. Close it. And name it as SHC. Now by using the execute we can access to short circuit common. Go to the script. To clear the output window, let's write code as clear output, close bracket, semicolon, echo of, close bracket, semicolon. To freeze the user interface. Now let's write a code to execute the short circuit calculation. SHC dot execute close bracket semicolon. If we execute it in the output, you will see that the short circuit is performed on each of these bus bars. As you can notice in the single line diagram as well, that short circuit is calculated on all our bus bars. But we need to calculate short circuit only on number 5 bus bar. To do that, go to the example, double click here, and from the user selection, you can choose the bus bar that you want to calculate short circuit on. But the parameter which is defined here is SHC object. So by using this address, we can calculate short circuit on any elements that we want. If you put your cursor on each of these parameter, you will see the parameter name. So by using them, we can change the settings in the DPL. Let's go back to the script. Before writing, executing the short circuit, let's write a code to define the bus that short circuit should be calculated on. SHC colon SHC object equal to bus underline bar. It implies that short circuit will be executed on bus number 5 as we define in the external object. Let us execute it. In the output window, you will notice that the short circuit is 
executed only on bus number five. And you can see all the details related to this bus bar. These are the data of lines connected to bus number five. In the output, if you want to get only the data of bus number five, for example, this one's initial short circuit power and initial short circuit current. To access into parameter names, right click on bus number five and click on edit format for short circuit nodes. Here you will see the parameter name of variables. If you want, you can access to more variables by double clicking here. As an example, I want to access to initial short circuit power and current. So let us go back to our script and write a printf. printf fault location percent ace initial short circuit power equal to percent 0.2f close bracket mva initial short circuit current equal to percent 0.2f chi bus underline bar colon e colon lock underline name to print the fault location bus underline bar colon m colon s k s s to print initial short circuit power bus underline bar colon m colon i k double s to print initial short circuit current Check the code and then execute it. Now you can notice that the fault location is at bus number 5. And there is also initial short circuit power and initial short circuit current. The reason that we still can see this parameter uh, is the option show option is ticked if you remove the tick mark you will not see any unused parameters in the output window but to do that with dpl you can refer to its parameter name which is iopt underline asc let us also change some of the other parameter settings like resistance and method. For example, if you put IOPT underline MDE equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, the method will be changed respectively. Let's go back to our DPL script and write the code for them is hc colon iopt underline asc equal to zero semicolon to remove the show output tick mark is hc colon rf equal to 5 to put fault resistance 
R F equal to five ohm. S H C colon I O P T underline M D E equal to three. To change the method. Now let us check the code. There is no error in the syntax and execute it. As you can notice that in the output you will see only the parameters that you define them. If you open the short circuit calculation dialog, all the settings that we define in the script were changed, such as the method, resistance, and the show output button. Guys, I hope the video was helpful. Thank you for watching.